Hi everyone, welcome to the first video about the making of a video game called Sierra Park Service. In Sierra Park Service, the player is a park ranger who patrols a vast open world national park on the bicycle. What's unique about this game is that it can be controlled by indoor biking equipment. In this video series, I will document the process of making the game and show you the beautiful places that are inspiring me in the creation of the game. But first, let me introduce myself. I am a software engineer based in Lake Tahoe, California. I moved here in 2020 during the pandemic and I quickly fell in love with this place. There are endless opportunities for outdoor activities and so much to explore. On a typical day, you can find me either hiking with my dogs, skiing, kayaking, or riding my bike. There's nothing like the feeling of being one with a trail when I'm on my mountain bike. The physical and technical challenges of the trail force me to be fully present in the moment. With every turn and every pedal stroke, the stress of daily life melts away. My connection with nature deepens. I also enjoy the convenience of riding my indoor bike, particularly in the winter. However, existing indoor cycling apps such as Zwift are limited to road biking. What if we could replicate the feeling of exploring the great outdoors while riding indoors? This is my goal for this game. In Sierra Park Service, the player is a park ranger whose job is to manage a national park. The player patrols the park and finds various missions on the map, including delivering construction material, documenting wildlife, fixing bridges and trails, delivering supplies to outposts. Different types of gears can be unlocked to facilitate travel. Mountain bikes to travel off-road, road bikes to travel fast on the road network, as well as pedal kayaks to explore lakes and rivers, and finally snow bikes to travel in snowy areas. Players can choose how to control the game character. To provide pedal input, there are a couple of options. Use a real bike connected to a smart trainer, use a spin bike with a speed or power sensor, or use a regular game controller if you don't feel like exercising. To steer the bike, the player can choose between using a game controller, using a keyboard, or enabling auto steer if you just want to be pedaling without worrying about staying on the trail. All right, enough talking, let's see the progress. So far, I have built a miniature national park that is five kilometer by five kilometer. It's fully rideable with an indoor bike. There are roads, trails, a meadow, and a snowy area. I have implemented physics simulation for the bicycle so that it's fun to ride both uphill and downhill. If you're interested in following the development of this game, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you have thoughts or feedback, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.